Well, according to the National Retail Federation, families can expect to spend $900 this year on back to school supplies. But as Maddie Sexton tells us, one district is easing that burden. Families with children at the Newport School District will not have to pay for school supplies at all this year. Happy From paper to pencils to binders and folders, the district is funded through three different places. We use enhanced student achievement funds, which are state and local funds that are restricted and we get those based on um, the poverty level of the districts. Chief Financial Officer Nancy Churchwell says they received roughly $900,000 from ESA this year. So, you know, the school supply list you get for elementary, we took those and we bought everything, crowns, pencils, paper, binders, everything that a student would need. The district has spent $20,000 so far on school supplies to last through the first semester. Superintendent John Bradley says this especially benefits the parents. School supplies for us is a great use of that, of those funds, you know, for, for our community because they're so, so needed. And with the way things are, everything's so high anyway. The district says the school supplies are dispersed to students and classrooms within the first week of school. We're ready to get kids back. It actually gets pretty boring around here without kids, so we're, we're all excited, looking forward to it. And since today was the Greyhounds' first day back, <laughs> they just have to bring a backpack and come to school. New school supplies should fill their backpacks very soon. Reporting in Newport, Matt.